I was once told that there's two great risks in life, risking too much and risking too little. In the game of ski mountaineering, you know, you're kind of always trying to find that edge. When you're starting to push yourself, you have to be able to make good decisions in the mountains and there's a ton of variables different weather patterns, avalanche conditions, looking at the objectives, understanding your abilities. You're all amped up after skiing a big line. You don't want to sleep. Before you know it, it's like one in the morning and you're still totally wired. I've been here for a day or two, just doing some scouting on the boat, looking for some first ascents, and looking, checking out Abbey conditions. Kit just showed up, and uh, we're gonna head up on the coast and explore some of the fjords. Greenland's always been a blank spot on the map for me. I've been to all seven continents, and I've always thought of Greenland as kind of like the eighth continent. You know, you show up here and evident pretty quickly that this place is outrageous for skiing. So this is Eternity Fjord and we'll start to see this thing as we come around the corner. I see a giant couloir, <laughs> but I look more like a climb than a ski. So uh, this zone here has like a ton of potential. We figured we'd start with something that came straight out of the ocean. I think we're gonna try to land the boat over here and build a base camp. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna get to sleep much. A lot of why I love what I do is the people that I'm with in the mountains. These expeditions can be pretty challenging. You know, variable conditions, weather, a lot of waiting, sometimes big, scary objectives. And when you've got a partner you've known for a really long time, it really simplifies that whole process. Water's almost ready. You want coffee or tea? Ah, uh, coffee. Jimmy is above all a good friend. And he's one of these honest, trustworthy people whose shoulder I can cry on when I need to and with whom I can ski big lines and feel confident in my partner. We've just been dealing with some weather the last few days, kind of in and out. I mean, it's mountain weather but we're definitely in a shed cycle. Not sure how the skiing's gonna be, but it's such an epic feature. It's hard not to get up in it and take a look around. Jimmy really enjoys just charging. When he wants to do something, let's go, let's go, no matter what time of day or what the conditions are. That is an epic coolie. Kit's a great partner for me because she's a good voice of reason for me and balances me out pretty well. I'm probably more cautious. She's very objective with her decision making. I trust her judgment implicitly. I'm thinking about skiing just to the right of that cornice debris where the ice comes down. Yeah. It's really like that ice lens right there translates right into the That's door. That's it turns really icy. Sometimes going with what Jimmy wants to go for leads to some of the most rewarding days I've had in the mountains too, so. Every step you take, it's like, wow. Look at that. Holy sh! Uh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. <laughs> it goes all the way around. All the way around. Kit and I decided to summit this little peak and actually it's not that little. I mean, it's just endless. It's like 360 degrees of absurdity. And the terrain here is just out of control. I mean, it's ski lines everywhere and climbing lines and just the most picturesque peaks you can imagine. Well, I think we're gonna go skiing.
Alright, give me a good down. Ready to go. Yeah, this is so sick. Down to the beach. Spending time outside and being in the wilderness, it's just good for you. I think I find the best version of myself in the mountains. In life, you get bogged down with a lot of different things and there's a lot of noise in the world. To be able to go out and not have an internet connection and not have to check your phone, you know, I think of it as wilderness therapy. I told you you were going to see that. <laughs> that was like right in front of us too. It's really hard not to be moved in a landscape like this. I personally aspire to creating images and stories that encourage people to get out and have their own experiences and find that best version of themselves out here. If I can do that, then I'm happy.